From the NBC 26 Precision Forecast Center, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. It was yet another cold April day across Northeast Wisconsin today and tomorrow. More of the same. Highs only in the 30s. 40s on Saturday, 50 on Sunday. Upper 50s to around 60 on Monday, and then we'll start to cool back down once again as we head towards the middle part of next week. Right now, we are looking at upper 30s to lower 40s. This is where we've been pretty much all day long. 42 degrees in Chilton. We've got 39 in Watoma. It is currently 37 degrees in Sturgeon Bay. In Green Bay, it is 38. We have drizzle and fog and a gusty northeast wind. It's 39 right now in Appleton with that east and northeast wind at around 15 to 20 miles per hour. We had one batch of rain move across the area earlier today. Since then, it has been mainly dry, except for a little bit of drizzle. We have a few more showers now developing to our south and west. Those will rotate in here later on this evening. We were expecting a widespread one to two, maybe three inches of rain across northeast Wisconsin last night into today. That did not happen. Here's a look at the totals that we did see, ranging from around a tenth of an inch to over an inch of rain in Sheboygan. All the rain got gobbled up by some big thunderstorms across Iowa and Illinois. The moisture was streaming north, but then the thunder Thunderstorms stopped that moisture and dumped it all out over northern Illinois and eastern Iowa, where there were widespread reports of four to seven inches of rain. And you can see we've got numerous flash flood warnings in effect right now. Here's the system producing the inclement weather, an area of low pressure, which is going to be moving east northeast here throughout the evening hours. North and west of it, heavy snow from Minneapolis up into southwestern Ontario. We're going to see some snow tomorrow. We're just not going to see that type of snow. The bigger story for us tomorrow is the cold weather. Temperatures only in the 30s across Minnesota and the Dakotas. That cold weather works in for tomorrow. Temperatures running almost 20 degrees below normal for this time of year. Our normal high is now in the mid to upper 50s. This evening we can expect some drizzle, fog, and a few showers. Everything goes over to some light snow, snow showers, or flurries tomorrow with gusty winds. West winds could be gusting up over 40 miles per hour at times. It's not going to feel like it tomorrow, but tomorrow is the statewide tornado drill. The watch will be issued at 1 o'clock in the morning will be issued at 145. So tonight, drizzle and fog turning windy after midnight. Overnight lows will be in the mid 30s. Tomorrow, windy and cold snow showers and flurries. Could see some minor accumulations, but not a big deal. High temperatures will be in the 30s. Mid 40s on Saturday with some sunshine, thickening clouds Sunday and windy. A chance for some showers as we move into the afternoon and evening. A better chance for some showers on Monday, but warming up close to normal. Upper 50s to around 60 and then turning cooler once again. Showers on Tuesday, maybe a rain or a snow shower Wednesday and Thursday with highs in the 40s. I want to say a quick hello to all of the third graders at Shyockton Elementary School. I was out there earlier today talking about the weather. And this group is prepared for a tornado warning. They're going to know what to do tomorrow when that mock tornado warning is issued at 145. Always fun to talk to the kids. It, it is. I love going to Shy Octon. All right. Thanks, Cameron. All right. Coming up tonight on NBC 26 Live at 6, farmers in Northeast Wisconsin getting concerned about the fact.